Right, so I got my whole frame sketched out on here. Right here, this is the brace. And then I went through and split the difference on each spot where I'm gonna have a hatch. Like, that way I'll have something to for the lid to actually rest on. So if I just cut out the square, it would fall through. I wanted to cut it with a skill saw. And I'm hoping the width of the blade, like I'll cut this side of the line, cut this side of the line on the inside of the box, I guess. I'm hoping the width of the blade will give me enough room for the carpet to make up, but I'm probably not that lucky. I'll probably still have to cut a little bit more off of these boxes. I'm trying to make sure that there isn't any more things I want to go ahead and do. Like, I hate that I have, you know, this is going to be nothing, this is going to be nothing, and I'm, I'm trying to decide if I want this to be something or not. The thing about it, if I make anything else something, I'm going to have to go in with some braces. I said I want as much storage as I can. Some other YouTuber said that they wish that they would have done less because it was just too much of a hassle. So I, I think I'm gonna go with what I got and I need to get the skill saw and I guess I'm gonna cut it in the garage because it's snowing outside. It's four o'clock in the morning. I didn't go to work last night because of the snow and it's supposed to snow eight to 12 inches today. And my skill saw is in my shed outside. But I need to go get it so I can get to work. There it is. Looks like a, the spaceship from Galaga. But as you see, these three right here, actually four, are all connected. I don't have any little strips. I thought about doing it where I left a little strip, but I think it'll benefit where the, the lids are gonna be buttoned up where they both hinge like that. And uh, it'll just have more of the frame to lay on. If you left a strip, you're gonna push that lid out a little bit to where you got less meat that the lid is actually hanging on. But the only hard part about this is gonna be getting it perfectly lined up when it's got carpet on it. So it's gonna take a little more time, but I think it's gonna be a little stouter this way. All right, that's done. I can actually go ahead and start painting this and painting the, the other side of those lids. I can carpet this. I'm gonna clean this mess up. But I want to do painting the last today because the garage is shut, trying to keep it warm in here. It's like 38 degrees. I got a little space heater in here, and it's doing a lot better than I thought it would because it's uh, like 11 degrees outside. But I don't want to be locked up in here with a bunch of paint fumes. So I want to do the painting last. Well, I'm glad that's done. Move on to the next step. All right, so I was super worried that I done messed something up and something wasn't gonna line up right. So I went ahead and put my deck up and put the doors in. And I did not mess up, I don't think. I went ahead and threw a hinge in. I'm gonna have to cut some more off these. Um, I really need to get two pieces of those carpet and put them together. I mean, I want these to be a pretty tight fit because I'm not gonna put latches in. I'm gonna do like some little pull tabs, but I'm gonna have to take some off at least three sides of these because these, these hinges are gonna make them tighter too and then you got the carpet. The side storage panel is gonna have to open like this. My battery charger is gonna go right here 
and then I still haven't decided what to do in here. I kind of want to finish it out, but then again, I don't know. That's a lot more weight. And then the one thing I do not like is since both of these are lids and they both meet up right here, the only way I can really figure out to do it is to hinge this side and this side. And I kind of hate that for this. This is the storage where the box is. So I, I wish it was opening the other way. But, I mean, it's not the end of the world. And this is going to be the battery. I kind of got it set up in there, at least the battery tray. I got to paint that piece of wood and secure it. And the trolling motor mount, it lined up pretty good. I still got to cut out a piece. I, I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking, originally thinking that this, the piece I cut out would work, but I want it to go on the bottom of these two by four so i need it to be actually bigger than this hole that way i can glue it and screw the crap out of it so if you put a lot of weight on it right here it's not going to bust through but i got extra i got some scrap that i can use for that and then of course we've got this other storage will open like this like just like the other side i don't know what to do right here i'll figure it out as i go but i'm glad that I didn't mess very much up. The only thing that I didn't, I messed up on is right here. Cool. I cut the wrong line. Like right now, it doesn't have anything to rest on. I mean, I guess I could. Probably the, the better thing to do is just cut a piece of wood right here. That way, I'm scared if I cut too much out of this, that it'll make this door too small, even though I still got to cut some out of here. Yeah, I think that'd be the best thing to do is just cut me a, a piece of wood right here. I gotta do that on the other side anyways because of that door. That door over there is shorter than this door because the trailer motor is gonna go all the way to where that door starts. Cause I wanna be able to access the door when I have my trailer motor in. All right, so I need to cut a piece of wood for this, cut a piece of wood for the other side, and a piece of wood for the trailer motor. But yeah, it's coming along. That's not too bad. There's the floor. Came out pretty good. 
I was worried about these ribs. I couldn't really nail it or staple it real close to the edge like I was wanting to. But I guess I cut it tight enough to where it looks pretty good. That I got a little spot of glue right there and it's wet looking. That uh, this glue cleans up really easy with just soap and water unless it dries. It says if it dries, you gotta clean it with mineral spirits. So it had some gaps that I was worried about front and back and there's no gaps now. But I'm gonna put a piece of plywood up here covered with carpet front and back. I really wanna put sides on it, but man, I don't wanna add extra weight. Keep on adding weight on top of weight. And I'm thinking about building a little box over here in this corner for my switch panels. I got a uh, one panel that's four switches. It's gonna be all the accessories. Then I got another little panel that's just two switches. It'll be like master power and I don't know what else. I just ended up getting two instead of one. And uh, cause my battery charger's right there. Batteries are going right up here. I'm thinking about dedicating this one little storage spot up here for my fuses and all that stuff. All my wiring's gonna be right here going to the battery. That way I ain't running wire all over the place. And the only wire they gotta run at the back will be to the bilge pump. So hopefully it'll look pretty clean. I got this carpet from Lowe's. It's called Grizzly Grass. It's like made out of recycled plastic. It's really, really ugly to be honest with you. It comes in a couple of different other colors. I thought it would look the best. I had everything I looked at. I mean, you don't have very many options with outdoor carpet. And since it's a camouflage boat, I think it's gonna match pretty good. All right. Let's uh, move to the next step. I went ahead and got another coat on the top of all this frame. And I got a coat on, this will be the bottom side of the deck. And then two of the panels, I had to, the panel that's got the storage stuff in it, it, uh, it chipped up real bad. So I tried to glue some pieces back on it and I'll have to get it another time. And I got some more miscellaneous pieces, the bottom of the trolling motor and some of them extra braces that I cut. Pretty productive day. I got the floor in, uh, got the deck cut out, went ahead and got coats of paint on everything. Figured a couple things out too, so very productive. Uh, I'm not going to work tonight, so I'm going to keep my regular hours and go to bed here in a little bit, fixing to eat me something and get out of this garage so I ain't. If I don't kill myself smelling oil-based paint fumes. Tomorrow's kind of going to be a pain in the butt because I need to get another coat on all this stuff before I can really do much. But if nothing else, maybe I can go ahead and get the battery tray in where it goes and maybe start wiring some of this stuff while I'm waiting on paint to dry. All right, see you tomorrow.